Hi everyone, how are you guys? It has been such a long time since I've seen you. It's been almost six months since I last uploaded a video here on this main channel and I've missed you guys so much. I wanted to make this a really easy going light video so, so it is a get ready with me as you guys can tell by the title it's going to be a very chatty catch up you guys can see what my current makeup routine is at the same time while i tell you guys where i've been what i've been doing the updates um on my life like aspects of my life and yeah i'm really excited to be here i've been receiving messages from you guys on instagram um so i appreciate you guys wanting more videos and um i'm just I think I'm just like rejuvenated and re-inspired and I'm gonna talk more while I do my makeup for you guys in the video so just stay tuned for that you guys can see how I got this look right here the products that I use and how I apply them but I'm just so happy to be back and I'm so grateful for you so if you're not yet subscribed and you enjoy this content please feel free to subscribe um, hit the notification bell follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me personally and uh, I appreciate your support always and yeah i'm gonna stop talking we're gonna just jump right into it um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy wow we are back let's just jump right into this i'm sure my intro was very wordy but i appreciate you guys for being here and wanting to just kind of catch up with me and you know hear about where i've been so i'm gonna jump into it but also this is gonna be again very chatty as the title says because um I just want to show you guys what I've been using, but also tell you guys what's been going on, where I've been, etc. So I have nothing on my face right now besides I did my skincare. If you want a video on my updated skincare routine and the products that I'm using, let me know. But I just did it. I wanted to focus on makeup today. So <clears throat> let's let's just jump right in. Now, sometimes I prime, sometimes I don't. My skin lately has been completely normal. So I have not had to use a primer. I've been loving this foundation, you guys. Um, this is the L'Oreal True Match Nude uh, Hyaluronic Tinted Serum Foundation. This is so good. I have gone through an entire bottle already. This is my second bottle. I've had two different colors because I'm, I have a little bit more of a tan right now because it's pretty much summertime so I have this color which is 4.5 to 5.5 rich medium and then I do have my old one over here I kept it because I wanted to show you guys so let me just grab it this one here you guys can see whoops full bottle empty bottle used every last drop this color was four to five medium so if you're kind of my skin tone kind of go by that this is a little bit lighter for me now obviously but i finished that and 4.5 to 5.5 has been perfect so typically if you've been watching my videos for the past i don't know decade i went from using brushes for my foundation to loving my beauty blender i am back on the brush game train all of it for my foundation this is the it cosmetics heavenly luxe complexion perfection number seven brush you guys favorite brush you have a foundation on the side concealer on the other side this is gonna be so weird because it is a dropper bottle so you guys can see you can obviously drop it like that like I just showed you but what I usually do is I just pull out the dropper I don't even use the dropper anymore I just pull out the dropper sorry I don't want to make a mess here and I just take my brush and I just swipe down one side of my brush and that is enough for my entire face. I'll do a few stripes like this just to get it down. But that is all I need. One stripe down of the dropper. Um, and it's a ton of product. Also, just keep in mind, this is more of a medium coverage foundation. And I have been living for medium coverage lately you guys know me I used to be a full full coverage girl full coverage matte finish this is uh, who am I I don't know who I am anymore this is a medium coverage with a beautiful satin skin like finish and I've just been obsessed with this for the spring and summer because that's the vibe I want to go for right more glowy more refreshed face so I've been loving this foundation 
from L'Oreal. Now, it's $20. That's my only gripe about this. I believe I get mine at Ulta, and I believe it's $19.99. I, I typically try to get this foundation on BOGO, like buy one, get one, half off, or something. Um, but yeah, it's $20, which I wish it wasn't. But let's be honest, I've paid a lot more money for foundation in my lifetime. So I, I can't rave about this enough. If you are looking for a medium coverage, just beautiful glowy kind of finish i really want to get into where i can like talk to you guys about like my life and where i've been but i feel like i have to explain everything that i'm doing <laughs> okay the next i'm going to use is concealer elf hydrating camo concealer love this one they also have a camo concealer with a black top i believe don't like that one at all that one's like super matte and super drying this one is the hydrating one Highly recommend if you want an affordable concealer. I think it's like six bucks and I just do boop, boop. Oh, there's a little too much on this one. I'm trying to take that off. There we go. So two little dots and then I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, so where have I been? I have not posted on this channel in almost six months. And honestly, I have been around, like I, I've been on YouTube, just not on this channel. Um, I've been posting on my budget channel um, pretty much every month and up until June because a lot of stuff has been going on. But yeah, I've been in the YouTube space, just not on this channel. I was kind of losing inspiration and I was just, I just didn't know what to film and I was getting in my head a lot and I think just, that just happens very often when it comes to YouTubers. If you guys make videos, you probably know what I'm talking about. Oh, I didn't tell you guys the color. The color I use for my concealer is medium peach. That's the color that I use. Um, so yeah, I have honestly been working on myself, forever working on myself. I have been dating. Um, it's funny because my first date of 2022, my first date of this year, was such a terrible, terrible, awful date. And of course that put me in a little funk and then I was like, oh, I give up on dating again. You know, if you're single, a single girl in your 20s or 30s, I'm 31, um, then you know what the dating scene is like these days and it is not the vibe, not the vibe. And yeah, my first date of 2022 was horrendous. And my second date of 2022, which is wasn't even like, it was a real date, but I was going in there with like zero expectations. And I happened to really hit it off with that person. And we are still together dating to this day. So that is big news for you guys, because I'm sure I know a lot of you guys love my dating videos and I plan to do some dating videos, not a ton, but um, it's been really refreshing to be in a relationship again because it's been, whoo, I'm sure you guys have been around for some time. If you know me, it's been like four years since I've had a boyfriend and dating's just been really rough for me. I just meet like terrible men. But anyway, um, we're not gonna talk about the terrible men in this video. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be a happy video, but I am dating. I do have a boyfriend that I absolutely adore um, And again, it was such a surprising connection and I I honestly thought it would go nowhere like leading up to the date and everything but the first date our first date went so so well and We've just been hanging out all the time ever since Okay um bronzer right after i do my concealer and foundation typically i would set it but i i don't know it's been a weird thing my face is still kind of tacky from the foundation and concealer so while it's tacky i want to put my bronzer on because i realize that's it helps my bronzer stay i know that sounds kind of crazy because most people will set their whole face do their bronzer and blush and all that but i actually like to do my bronzer now when my face is still a little like tacky because my the bronzer like grips to it so benefit hula bronzer you guys can tell 
I truly love this bronzer. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush in JH05. So I'm just going to swirl my brush, tap it off. And then what I do is I just press and brush upwards right on my cheekbone. Press and brush up like that. And then I'll hit the temple there a little bit. And then I'll just dab a little bit more, do the other side, press and brush up. Okay, so yeah, we've been dating technically for like four months, I guess you can say. A little over four months and it's just been such a refreshing time in my life because I have been ready for a relationship. A lot of you guys know this, I've been ready for a relationship and I've been wanting to kind of like jump into dating again and hope like I am one of those people that I love being single and I definitely cherish my time being single but I to my core I love being in a relationship because I love love and I love you know expressing love giving love you know doing things with someone and like having like meaningful memories like that's just my personality and I, I <clears throat> truly am like a hopeless romantic so I was really just surprised when or how well him and I hit it off. Um, I'm not going to give too much detail on him just yet just because I don't really want to put him out there publicly. I don't think I, I don't even know if I ever will, you know. Um, he doesn't have social media, a pretty private person. Um, and then again, maybe I'll go into more detail later down the line if he's comfortable with me giving more details about our relationship and like um him and all that but I just want you guys to know I am like extremely just like happy in a better place and like um again it's really true when that when they say like you'll find it when you're not looking right because I again went on this date with this guy not thinking anything of it I'm like okay I'm bored one night and I set up plans with this guy and he just turned out to be completely opposite of what I thought I wanted and we have just again we've been dating for the past four months so it's just kind of crazy how things work out okay next thing I do is my eyebrows I did my bronzer I'm gonna come back and do blush so now I'm going to do my eyebrows I have been obsessed with my hourglass arch brow sculpting pencil Hourglass Cosmetics and Hourglass Products will forever have this huge space in my heart. If you guys are new to my channel, I have had been in the beauty industry for like seven or eight years. Hourglass Cosmetics is a brand that I used to work for like way back in the day at the beginning of my uh, beauty career. I used to work for Hourglass when they were only in boutiques. They were not in Sephora, they were not in Ulta. They were in small luxury boutiques and I've just been obsessed with them ever since. You're gonna see some more Hourglass products and you guys probably remember me using Hourglass quite a bit. But I've just fallen back in love with the brand. It is luxury. It is expensive. If you have the means, I highly recommend you trying Hourglass out. But it is pricey, but I... It is so worth it and I find myself always going back to their products. So this brow pencil is in warm brown. I've had, I think, rich brown before. Warm brown was just a color that I had in my collection. So I'm just trying to use up the products that I have. Um, my eyebrows are very short, especially this one here on the side. Super short. So we're just going to go in and do the eyebrows. Um... I'm gonna try to talk to you while I do this too. This is gonna be kind of hard. So yeah, everything else in my life has been great as well. My friendships have been really great. My family has been doing well. We just celebrated Father's Day, if that gives you any reference of time of when I'm posting this. <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna post this. That mirror wasn't working, so I'm just going to use the mirror that I have here. But yeah, everything with my family has been going really well. Um, Everything's just been very neutral in, uh, in, you know, the other aspects of my life. Now I'm trying to, you know, kickstart YouTube again and um, just 
do more things with the business if you guys are unfamiliar i do have a budgeting channel and a shop and i'm hoping to produce more content product all of that i'm just excited to be back i feel rejuvenated i feel like i'm in a better headspace overall and i'm just excited to be back i feel rejuvenated i feel like i'm in a better headspace overall and um i'm sure you guys are like why did you take such a long break right now again i only took a long break from this particular channel i was just really confused on like what i wanted to do on this channel and there was like a huge part of me that wanted to just fully dive back into makeup isn't that weird this used to be well this started out as a makeup channel years ago when i started my channel back in 2008 and then i started to fall out of love with makeup not completely but just not as into it as i used to be and now i kind of want to get back into the makeup videos but then I also wanted to do lifestyle videos, my dating videos, which do really well here, vlogs, all of it. So um, if you guys could leave a comment on what you guys would like to see. And uh, every time I ask this question, everyone's just like, we want to watch whatever content you want to make. And I love you guys for that. I so appreciate it. So what I'm thinking is, again, I'm starting to like really want to do makeup videos again, which is why this first video back is a get ready with me but i'm thinking like makeup mondays so mondays will be a makeup video and then the secondary video of the week will either be like a lifestyle video a vlog or a dating video i haven't really like hammered out all the details but i definitely want to do makeup mondays because i still love doing makeup i still love makeup videos and like talking to you guys about products but yeah I pretty much you know stopped making YouTube videos because I felt it, it felt like it wasn't fun anymore right and I guess it just took me almost six months to really like grasp that I can do whatever I want on this channel it's my channel and you guys I've been getting messages from you guys especially recently like I miss your videos I wish you know you would upload and stuff like that and it honestly warms my heart which really that also encourages me to come back and which is pretty much why I'm here because um, again I think it's therapeutic for me but I also love it because I know it's therapeutic for a lot of you as well a lot of you have watched me since I was in high school I started this channel in high school and I think it's a beautiful thing and I appreciate you guys so much you have no idea um, but yeah I I'm so happy to be back like that like bottom line um i just wasn't really sure of what i wanted to upload and nothing was inspiring me and um i didn't know if going back to like makeup videos would be something you guys would want to see but i figured you know whatever i upload hopefully you guys enjoy and that's kind of what i'm just gonna go with okay so there's that i usually don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis but I will go in with like a wash of color so shade and light palette by Kat Von D oldie but a goodie you guys can see I hit pan on this color can you guess which color we're going to use today we're gonna use that color right there so it's like a medium brown shade matte all matte so I'm just going to circle motions on the outer corner here like this very very light hand I'm not pressing too hard bring it up I actually bring it up to my brow here like my inner brow I don't bring it in anymore I bring it up here and stop but yeah just circle motions and then I bring it out like this to get more of that like lifted look and that's typically all I do for eyeshadow one color wash of color boom 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 in the crease but yeah what other questions do you guys have for me i feel like i haven't done a q a in a while are you guys curious about anything um told you guys that i'm i have a boyfriend my family's great um i'm still over on my budget channel trying to figure out new things to come for my online shop i'm thinking about doing 
more stationary. If you guys know me, I love stationary. Everything stationary, journals, sticky notes, notebooks, all of that. Um, that's been such a long process with manufacturers. Ugh, I hate all of it, but I'm excited. So yeah, what questions do you guys have other than that? I don't really know. Now we're going to go in with the rest of the face stuff. So I typically like to clean up the under eye area with the same beauty blender that I used for the concealer to blend out earlier. No extra product, just taking the beauty blender and just pressing out any creases that might have occurred or happened while we were doing our makeup. I'm going to take my Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. This is more of a glowy, yellow-toned, baked powder. It is such a amazing product you guys they have so many shades i use the fuse light for under my eye you guys have seen me use this before and i used to use the jaclyn hill one jaclyn hill has like um a brightening palette that has like similar colors to this but all of hers were matte and like it just made me look so dry these are more of a satin finish like a glowy finish which is what i've been super into so I just would rather have it look hydrated under the eye than matte. So that changed up. I use, I still have the palette. I just don't use it as much. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my Hourglass. This is like an old holiday palette, but it's pretty much um, mini sizes of some of their best-selling products. So we have like a highlighter, their ambient powders. This is the diffuse light. You guys can see I've used it all up in this palette. Their bronzer is amazing and their blushes here. I'm going to go in with this bright pink one right here. Uh, this is Luminous Flush. And I'm just going to dab that with a Morphe brush up here on the outer cheeks. Something subtle. I don't want too, I don't want it too bright. Just a little bit of color and then over the nose. Just a little bit of a flush there. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is my eyes. I typically just do some mascara. Like I'll curl my lashes, do mascara. But sometimes I will do a liquid liner or a pencil liner. Today I'm going to do a pencil liner. Just because it's a little bit more of a just like easy everyday look. So I'm just going to use my Urban Decay one. This is a purple one in Empire. I've used it so much. I'm trying to go through my products and actually use my products. So I'm just going to line my upper lash line. I will then go in with any angled brush. This one's from like Rite Aid or something. It's an eyebrow brush with a spoolie on the end, but I use it for eyeliner. So I'm going to take the brush and just kind of like brush it over that eyeliner tip. And I'm going to create a little wing with the brush. And this is just going to give a more subtle eyeliner blended look rather than a harsh liquid liner um because this is pencil it's a little creamier and you can kind of manipulate it a little bit easier once it's on the eye so yeah can you guys see that something you know not as dramatic and a little bit more subtle and this is a purple shade so it's not as harsh yeah, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys have probably seen me out and about just like, uh, again, the past four months dating this guy have just, they've just been like, of course we've had like little fights and stuff like that, but most of it has been just super carefree. We are very similar in a lot of ways. Um, we love to like eat, like we're both foodies. We love to try new foods, new restaurants, and that's like, Something that I really find important in a relationship because I have dated men before that are very picky eaters and I've just realized I really want to be with someone that also enjoys trying new things, new cuisines, new restaurants and like that's what I've been doing a lot the past few months is just discovering new restaurants and stuff like that. Um, and it's just really great to share that with someone because um, I think a great way to experience a culture is through their food and their cuisine. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you guys know 
I've been eating out quite a bit on the weekends and just living my life and I've been really enjoying it but I am ready to like be back and share this stuff with you guys and yeah okay so that's pretty much that all I'm going to do now is um, line my lips because I'm gonna do my mascara off camera there's no point you guys know what mascara looks like but I'm using the lip liner makeup forever 606 wherever walnut I've been using this forever like I can't even tell you how long I think you guys have seen me use this actually and I haven't posted videos in forever but surprise I'm still using this now that we have our lips lined I am going to just go in with this Maybelline lifter gloss hyaluronic acid lifter gloss in number four silk these are so amazing. Go to your Ulta, go to your drugstore, and try one of these lip glosses out. They're super glossy, shiny, not sticky. Beautiful formula. So good. So I'm going to just show you, and then we'll do mascara off camera. So let's see. Mmm. So pretty. All right, you guys, so we are back. But this is my everyday fresh face kind of look. This is what I typically wear on a, a daily basis if I'm going out and about. Sometimes I don't even wear makeup on certain days. But if I wanted to be put together, this is what my routine is. So I hope you guys enjoy just catching up with me and just chatting and doing makeup again. Again, if you have any suggestions or requests, leave them down below. It's always appreciated. And I'm just really excited to be back. And um, I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. So, and again, I love you guys so much. I appreciate the support. And um, I will see you guys soon in my next video, which will be a vlog for like May and June. That's like a mishmash of like vlog footage. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And yeah, thank you guys so much. If you have not subscribed, please do. Follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me personally. All the links will be down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.